For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I stress overcome. What for? Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands in. Still me sure, sure seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yeah, the champ. What's going on guys? So today we're out here in the middle of Missouri. Believe it or not, this area, you guys can check this out. This area right here, it looks like from out west. I used to live in Colorado when I was in fifth grade for a year, and this place looks almost exactly like the area I used to live in. Crystal clear running water, beautiful area. It definitely looks like something out of a western movie. I got Trey back there with us from Rock Divers. We actually got here at like 7.30 this morning. I got up at 4.30, guys, 4.30 a.m. I got up and rolled out of bed. I was like, man, do I want to go? And I was like, you darn right I want to go. We're going to go diving. Look for treasure. So I'm going to throw the drone up, let you check out some of the aerial footage. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. Laughing with my friends under the sky. Following our hearts, so then we take a ride. Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly. Fly. Oh, this hole is like 40 or 50 feet deep and it's clear guys. It looks clear from the drone, the ledge we were standing on. So hopefully we're gonna get down there and find some cool stuff. To my knowledge and to Trey's knowledge and to everybody's knowledge, there has never been divers in this area. So we're gonna go down, see if we can find some cool stuff. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we just made it back up to the top today and we met, what's your name again? Miss Tyler. Tyler <laughs> and Judd. And you're actually going to start scuba diving? So why do you want to start scuba diving anyway? Because I 
feel like people doing it, and I kind of want to find treasure. And that's stuff. right, that's right. And you watch, who do you watch on YouTube? Jake, Brandon. <laughs> all them cool guys, yeah, they do all kinds of cool stuff. That's why I kind of started doing it. And we got Joe over here. This guy's like the cannonball master. Like, he's a professional diving off the rocks over there, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've never actually met a YouTuber before. <laughs> well, today, yeah, today's your guys' lucky day, man. Uh, so, Judd or uh, Tyler, whatever your name is today. That's Judd. <laughs> I'm going to put Judd's fins on. Oh, hey, All right. I'm going to pull this thing tight. Inside tight. Oh, dang. Ooh, I'm about to smack myself. <laughs> All right, let's, see, let's do this one. Uh, let's see, it's got to be clicked down in. Okay, I don't know how tight they are on your feet. These are like adult <laughs> fins, but the tight makes your tight. See if these things will fit. <laughs> these things make a world of difference when you try to swim. You swim like a, like a fish. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, so little. How's that? Good? Yeah. Check that side. Uh, let's see. Okay, there you go, buddy. You gonna go for it? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, bye, Judd. Okay guys, we just got done diving out here in Missouri and it was pretty epic. The location was absolutely amazing. I couldn't ask for a better place than this location. I go down south of the Keys down in Florida, I see some beautiful places. But up north in the central part of the United States, like it is absolutely beautiful and you guys seen a prime example of that. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys what we found. Let me flip the old camera on and let's see it. Okay guys, let's see what we found here. Oh yeah, baby, look at, oh, uh, uh, well, there it is, oh, what else we got, uh, I guess it's it, yep, it's all she wrote, guys, and as you guys can see over here, I love fishing, love fishing, love hunting, love doing anything outdoors, but anyway, let's get back to this kind of stuff, we didn't find anything that cool, we did find Corona Extra, which, that is obviously alcohol, but I did not know it came in a can form, pretty interesting, Dr. Pepper, everybody loves Dr. Pepper. I'm guessing this is a newer can, maybe. I don't know, I don't drink soda or alcohol. What is this? I'm not sure what this thing is. Let's see if we can open this puppy up. Let's see, what's this? Budweiser, man, everybody loves their alcohol. We got this, ooh, that was part of a goggle. I forgot about that puppy, check out this dude. Wish I'd have found the other one. 
This thing, uh, actually this thing has been melted. I'm guessing this was probably in a fire, maybe, and they left it on the beach, and maybe when the, when the water level got up and stuff, it brought it back down to the water. This stuff over here is a natural light. Man, we have so many different beers. Budweiser, natural light, Corona Extra, and Fireball, and I think, I think that's water. I think, I believe. I'm not even going to try to test it and try because I don't really... <laughs> we got to finish the video right now, and I don't drink anyway, so let's not do that. Fireball Extra with something in the side of it. Oh, and we got this thing right here. Check out this, guys. Awesome looking bottle. Not really. It's actually, I think it's tea. I think it's one of them tea bottles, to tell you the truth, because I do recognize the bottle. And we also got a mask, guys. A pretty fancy mask. Look at that. It might be reusable. You guys want me to wash it and send it to you? I definitely will, free of charge. We got a sock, looks like a girl's sock or a little bitty kid's sock. And we got a, I'm not sure what this is. What the heck is this thing? Oh, it's probably, it's a, it's a hair scrunchie. That's what it is. Okay, cool. But anyway, that's what we found, guys. Between all this stuff, that's what we got. Anyway, that is what we found. We didn't really find anything of value, but that's the name of the game, guys. We go out, we search, we look, we find. Sometimes we win some, sometimes we lose. You know, it's like playing the lottery. You never know what you're going to get. But anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in as usual. And as always, I'll see you guys back out of the water.